Switzerland's Lake Geneva has a reputation for its clean water. It sits at the foot of the Alps and looks postcard ready. But it turns out plastic pollution here is just as severe as the world's oceans. So how did one of Europe's largest lakes become so polluted? Ocean Eye, a Geneva-based nonprofit, has been collecting plastics from oceans for more than a decade. But in 2018, they turned their attention closer to home and conducted their first study in Lake Geneva. That's Pascal Hagman, Ocean Eye's founder. On the stern of a sailing boat, he's using a device to help collect different types of plastics. There are microplastics, which are small particles of bigger objects, and mesoplastics, which are bigger fragments. Hagman says tire residue is the major pollutant, followed by food packaging, and that the plastics that end up here aren't just a Switzerland problem, it's a global one. As Lake Geneva borders France, and its water eventually flows into the Mediterranean Sea. Il y a toute une partie de ces déchets plastiques qui ne sont qui sont perdus par des, des incivilités, des gens qui mettent pas les déchets à la poubelle, qui les jettent dans l'environnement ou des débordements de poubelles, et ces déchets plastiques, on peut les retrouver dans le monde. Hagman says projections are pessimistic, and that if the world continues to produce plastic at the current rate, we'll produce more than one billion tons of it per year. But on the brighter side, he says awareness of the issue is growing. Nous, quand on a commencé à travailler sur les plastiques il y a, il y a 12 ans, on parlait de plastique dans, de petites particules de, dans l'eau. Les gens nous prenaient vraiment pour des, pour des farfelus. Aujourd'hui, c'est une problématique qui est, qui est reconnue. 